Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we'll be reviewing the Solomon Quantum Binding. I rode these bindings on my K2 Coolbeam with my K2 Thraxxus boots at Arapaho Basin on a day that was storming. It was light snow that slowly, progressively turned into heavier snow. There was some wind, low visibility. Basically, it was like every kind of powder condition you could get. Okay, so what kind of adjustability do you get with the Quantum? You got twist cams on the toe and the heel to lengthen or shorten the straps. You got pop down push placements for the toe strap. You got a high back forward lean adjustment and rotation, as well as an adjustable toe ramp. All right, so the straps on the Quantum are that new age minimalist conformist strap. So there's not a lot of material to it. It just contour right around the boot in any shape that it has. Basically, not a lot of fabric, not a lot of material. It's designed to just contour over the instep and the toe and hold. You don't get a lot of pinch points with it, and that's a beautiful, beautiful thing with any binding. So here's what I like and don't like about the ratchets. The way they're designed, they climb exceptionally well and they lock down. What I don't like is you got one with a one finger quick release and the other one with a push down release, so it's counterintuitive. It just forces you as the rider to be doing two different movements instead of one solid movement where you can just like grip it and just be like and you're out. That's basically it. Other than that, these ratchets are phenomenal. So the high backs on this binding are a little bit stiffer, which helps with the shadow fit technology, which is that loose heel cup that these have. That way you can drive harder into it and it's not gonna fold and flex and just push through and not give you the power you need when you're driving in this binding. The overall flex of this binding is on the stiffer side of all mountain, but you have that shadow fit technology, which is a soft heel cup. So that changes the dynamic of how you carve. Basically you get micro movements in your heel as you set up into a turn and you're gonna get a little bit more play on the heel. So if you're like a surfer or someone that rides really loose skate trucks, you'll understand what I'm talking about. If you don't, basically you got movement in the heel a little bit more than you would have with say a one piece binding or even a two piece binding. It's not a bad thing, it's just you got a little more play. It changes how you drive and play around on the binding and how you steer your board and whatnot. But overall, it's a slightly stiffer binding. So if you've tried Shadow Fit in the past and you've thought that it was too soft if it was one of the other models, this is stiffer and that's for someone that wants just very micro movements in the heel. The overall ride of this binding is super smooth and damp. It's a mostly stable binding, and I say mostly stable just because you have that shadow fit which is a little looser in the heel, so you lose some drive and power with it. But with the stiffer high back, the straps, just this being the stiffer shadow fit binding, it kind of compensates for it. So you lose a little, but not as much as you would with other bindings from the Solomon line. So who's this binding for? Someone that wants a solid all mountain binding with shadow fit technology. Someone that wants a slightly looser heel cup so they can just micromanage their movements. I don't know if I'll ever be a shadow fit technology type of person. It's, it's just not the way I like to drive a snowboard. But what I do know is with this being on my cool bean, getting out into the pow, it really over accentuated just slashy turns. And that's where I think shadow fit really stands out. It makes riding pow so much better. On a groomer hard charging and carving, it doesn't make as much sense to me. But when you're trying to like surf pow and you're just out there and you're slashing turns and you know, you're just doing those big swoopy S's through pow, it makes total sense. And this being the stiffer of the shadow fit bindings, it almost rode like a traditional one piece injected molded binding. This has been my review of the Solomon Quantum. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own some? Are you going to buy some? Leave me a comment down below. After you do that, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you don't miss any of the content we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you'd really like to support us and you just want to see us do more projects, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Averin Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.